Hello everyone, so today I'm going to share with you how to teach children sight words. So whether you're a homeschool parent, you're a teacher, or you are a parent at home, or grandparents who want to help children learn their sight words, Today I'm going to share with you an exciting way, a fun way on how to teach sight words. At the same time, it's a very effective method. I've used it so many times and I know it works. Um, it involves many different ways of learning, from playing to singing to using a systematic way um, to memorize sight words. So what are sight words? Some of you may ask. Sight words are high frequency words. So these are words that are 80% of, the, of these words you will find in children's books. Um, so you want children to know these words by sight, to be able to see them and know them. Um, the first 100 sight words represent 50% of English text. So if a child is able to know these words, they're gonna be able to read half of a sentence, for example. Um, and so some of these words are not decodable, so they, you cannot use regular phonetic rules to read these words. So it's a good idea to memorize them so that the child can be a fluent reader. Now I always tell parents, do not introduce sight words until the child is reading. The core, of, the core of reading, the foundation of reading is phonics. You want your children to be able to decode words like cat, k at cat. You don't want them to start memorizing word shapes and just memorizing words because then they're going to be playing the guessing game when they're reading and they're going to be guessing. They're not going to be fluent good readers. Once a child is reading and knows how to decode words, is reading short sentences like a cat ran, a fox hid, by decoding, then you can move on to sight words. And sight words are divided into different groups. You have the pre-primer, the primer, first grade, second grade, and third grade. So there's five groups of Dolch sight words. Um, I always tell parents, if you have a preschooler who still cannot read um, by using phonics, do not introduce sight words yet. And schools do do this. So if your child is going to school, you really have no other option but to work with your child after school, making sure that they really know their phonics. Um, so what I do is, I, I always tell parents, if you're homeschooling your child, you can just start sight words in kindergarten when your child is already reading. And um, for the pre-primer and the primer, there's going to be um, 18 weeks. With my system, you're going to be able to do it in 18 weeks. And there's 35 weeks, 35 weeks of school, so you have plenty of time to learn these sight words, memorize these sight words. And then you can move on to the first grade the following year. So, um, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to have my kindergartner demonstrate for us so that you guys can see how it is that I work with sight words, how I teach sight words here in my home. Um, Iris is actually a young kindergartner, so she's four years old, but she's able to start working on her um, sight words now. And I decided to wait and, and make sure that she was reading before I introduced the sight words. That is something that you really, really want to do. If you do it beforehand, your child is not going to have the foundation of phonics and they're going to be memorizing everything they read. You don't want them to memorize when they read. You want them to decode. And in fact, some of the sight words you can decode and you can use regular phonetic rules and some of them you can and they are irregular. And those are the ones you want them to memorize. Um, so, in terms of sight words, I introduce five sight words a week for um, my children and five sentences a week. The sentences go along with the sight words, so you, they're going to be able to see the sight word in a sentence. So it's going to be great practice, and they're going to be able to see how the, the word is used in a sentence, which is great for them to see. Um, so I have these flashcards that I start off with, um, and all of these you're going to be able to get in Teachers Pay Teachers. It comes with a whole pack of pre-primer, because that's, that's what you want to start with. Even if you have a first grader who has never learn sight words, you want to start with pre-primer. So you're going to get all the sight words for pre-primer. You're also going to get five sentences a week. So five words a week, five sentences a week. Um, you're also going to get uh, two worksheets that go along with it as well. I'm going to share with you guys everything the way I do it. The first thing I do is I start with the sight words. So I lay out the sight words 
Um, you could put them in any order you want, but you have to keep it in that order when you're first teaching it because keeping it in order is a memory tactic that I have found to be very useful. Every day you wanna use the same order in the beginning before you get it out of order. So if you can see here, A and away, big blue. And I have a little tune that I like um, using with sight words and with every week I can use a different tune. You just make up your own tune. A and away, big blue. A and away, big blue. A and away, big blue. Your turn, and then the child's turn. And the child goes. Um, you want them to have a little tune. It's a way of memorizing. You want to keep the sight words in order. As the week progresses, because it's, these are only done for a week, or you can, you can go on to two weeks if you need to, depending on your children, then you can get them out of order. Then you can start playing games. And I'm going to share with you guys the different games that I play and how we do that. I'm going to go ahead and bring my four-year-old over here now and have her demonstrate how we do this. All right, let's go. Hello. Here's Iris. Iris, say hello. Hi. So here I am with Iris. And before we get started, I want to mention that Again, want to make sure that your children are already reading. Iris can already read three, four letter words um, that she can decode. She can read Bob's books. Um, so she's already a fluent reader when it comes to phonics. She has a core for the foundation. If you want to know how I taught Iris how to read and how I taught my other children how to read, I will link that below in the description box. I made a video and it's a very popular video here on YouTube because um, a lot of people have been able to use that method to teach children of all types to read. Um, I have seen children with Down syndrome learn how to read with this system, with autism. Um, I have seen adults learn how to read with this system. So it's a wonderful, easy system on how to teach anyone how to read. And I share with you that for free. And I'm going to link that video below so that you can also teach your children how to read phonetically first before introducing the sight words. So the first thing is I, I start with the sight words and I have them in this particular order. And I keep them in this order so that the child um, can memorize the sight words. And then, once the child has memorized the side words, I get them out of order. So, I just start off by going like this. A, and, away, big, blue. And I can use different tones for my voice. A, and, away, big, blue. And then, you can use tunes. A, and, away, big, blue. A, and, away, big, blue. Your turn. Go ahead. Keep going. A and away, big blue. So, you can use any tune you want, and week after week, I use different tunes that I just come up with. Whatever just sounds good and sounds um, like it rhymes. So, every week, the child is going to get also a sentence. So, here's a sentence for this, um, for this day. Every day, they get a new sentence. Um, so, at the end of the week, they're going to have the five sentences and the five sight words. So, for Monday, for example, let's say this is Monday, we've, we went over the sight words and we sang it with a little tune, and then we go over the sentence. And they're going to be able to see the word A. Iris, right, so do you see A here? A is the same as A here. We're using that sight word in here in this sentence. So, let's read this sentence, okay? Ready? A. I ate a hot dog if your child already knows how to decode you can have them decode the decodable words okay iris can you read that sentence for us i, I ate, ate a hot dog very good and then that would be it that's what you do the first day on monday the second day again you go over the words ready iris a and the way big blue a and away, big blue. Now let's sing it without. Let's say it without the tune, okay? A, A. and A. away, A. big A. Blue. blue. Okay. We're not gonna talk about getting them out of order yet. We start doing that on Wednesday. But if you see that your child really is getting, and you can start getting them out of order, then they get the second sentence. The second sentence, right? So this. Day, which is Tuesday, we have another sentence. Can we read this sentence, Iris? The cat and I ran. The cat and I ran. Very good. Which sight word do you see in here? That one and 
And what's that sight word? And what's this sight word? Okay, and you want to review the previous day's sentence as well. So you want to review the first sentence and then go on to the second sentence so that every day you're doing review um, of all of the sentences so that at the end of the week they're able to read all five sentences. Um, and okay, so then what we do is on Tuesday we have the child also do this worksheet. And this is a worksheet that they're going to be using their five sight words. They're going to be reading them, tracing them, and then writing them. And I'm gonna show you Iris doing that in just a minute. Okay, so here we have the worksheet that she's working on in the second day on Tuesday. Iris, can you go ahead and read those sight words for us? A and way big blue. Okay, now read it without the tune. Now we're going to start off with the A. I want you to trace that A, then we're going to be writing it. So this is good practice. Not only are they reading it, they're singing it, but now they are writing their sight words. And this all comes, again, with the Teachers Pay Teachers package that you will get. So you will get two worksheets. This is one of the worksheets that they would get on Tuesday. And I'm going to share with you the next step now, what the child would do on Wednesday. So they would go ahead and finish tracing and finish this worksheet on Tuesday. Let's move on now. Okay, so now let's say today's Wednesday. On Tuesday, the child did their uh, writing their sight words. So it's great because they're not only learning how to read the sight words, they're learning how to write the sight words as well. But let's say today's Wednesday, so you got the third sentence up because every day the child gets a new sentence. Okay, ready, Iris? So we're going to start. Ready? A and the way big blue. A and a way big blue. Now let's say without the tune. A, a and away big blue and now Iris I'm gonna ask you these out of order because I think you should know them by now this is the third day you've been doing them right ready Iris what is this sight word here what's this one blue blue what's this one away what's this one a a what's this one a and then what's this one Big. So I can get them out of order because Iris should know them. So I can put the sight words out of order here. And Iris should be able to tell me the sight words now on Wednesday. Now you work slowly with your kids, you know. It's out of order. It's out of order. What's this word? They're in the wrong place. They are. What's this word? And. And. Mm, blue. Blue. What's this one? Away. Away. What's this one? Away is another spot. And what's this one? What's this one? A. And what's this one? Big. Big. Okay. All right, so now we're going to go over our sentences. Oh, and you right. want to make sure that you review the previous sentences first uh, for the previous day so that you always want to do that review. Ready, Iris? Let's start with this. Oh, you want to use the pointer? Okay, ready? Let's go over here. I eat a hot dog. Okay, what about here? Nice and loud, honey, so we can hear you. The cat and I ran. Okay, what about here? The fox ran away. Okay, very good. And so now, um, what we also want to do is, we're going to be doing another worksheet today, right? So this is a worksheet in which the child finds the sight words now. They're going to be finding the sight words among other words that look similar. So this is going to be great for creating that fluency having the child to be able to recognize from a bunch of words where that sight word is. So we're gonna go ahead and do this worksheet, Iris. And then we're gonna pick your favorite crayons to do this activity. Let me get the camera a little closer. Okay, so here's the worksheet that the child is going to be finding the sight words among other words that look like it. All right, so let's start over here with the first one here. What sight word is this? A. A. I want you to find all the A's. I want you to color it in or circle it with your favorite crayon. All of the A's. Give them a little circle. So go, she's going ahead and she's finding all of her A's. Very good, Iris. Now let's pick another color. We're going to go ahead to the next sight word. What sight word is this? And. And. Can you find and over here? And is hidden. And, very good. 
And. Away. No. Gotta keep finding and. Okay. And Ooh. one more and. Very good. So there should be five in each um, row there. So we're gonna go on and on finishing these. Um, and this is great practice for finding the sight word among words that look very similar. Okay, so the child has finished the worksheet and now you wanna move on, let's say you're in Thursday now. And so you have four sentences and you have your sight words again up here. Ready, Iris? Let's go over our song. A and away, big blue. A and away, big blue. Now let's read it out of order now. What's this one? Blue. What is this one? A. What is this one? Away. What is this one? And. What is this one? Big. Very good. Give me five. Okay, now we're going to start going over the sentences, and you want to read the ones from the previous days first to go over that review. Ready, Iris? Nice and loud. I ate a hot dog. Very good. The cat and I ran. Good. The fox ran away. The yak is big. Very good. Give me five. Okay. And on this day, we don't have any worksheets because it's just two worksheets a week. We're going to play a little game. Ready, Iris? Can you give me the word blue? Let me get the blue. Can I have it? From here. Give me the blue. Blue. Can I get away? Can I get, give me get away? Away. Oh, okay. Can I get big? Very good. Can I get A? A. That's and. Can I get A? Very good. And now can I have and? Okay, and. Now we're going to play a little bingo. Ready, Iris? Right. Tell me. Okay, so here we have a little bingo game. And I have some bingo chips. You can use anything you have. You can use beans, any type of math counter. Ready, Iris? I'm going to start calling things out. Take the bingo chips off and let's start. Ready? Can you find the word big? Big. Good. Can you find the word blue? Can you find the word away? Away. Good job. Can you find the word and? And. Come on, Iris. Let's find the word and. Good job. And lastly, can you find the word a? You got it. Give me five. You did a good job. Okay, so let's say now today's Friday and you have the sight words out of order because at this point the child has become really familiar or the children with the sight words. If not, you want to extend a few more days or you want to um, extend another week. And you should have the five sentences at this point because it's Friday. Ready, Iris? Okay, Iris. So let's go ahead and read the sight word over here. Okay, so at this point, Iris is going to be reading the sentences, um, and you want to start reviewing the previous sentences first. Ready, Iris? Nice and loud. Over here. I ate a hot dog. The cat and I ran. The fox ran away. The yak is big. The car is blue. Very good, Iris. So that's it. This is the last day at this point. You can again play bingo, you can have them put them out of order um, and play the give it to me game where you tell me, give me the blue, blue, give me the and, and, and you go on and on. Um, and so, once you have finished this week, um, then you will go on to the next week and the next week would be five new sight words and five new sentences and again you get the two worksheets for each of the weeks, you will get two new worksheets that are pertaining to the sight words for that week. Um, when you go on to the following week, you, uh, you always want to keep your sight words in a little ring, the ones that you've already done, so that you want to review them every week, at least twice a week. You want to offer that review so that the children do not forget the sight words from previous weeks. 
Um, you're also going to get a master list with all your sight words. Um, as you can see, there's eight weeks for the pre-primer. And um, I'm going to go ahead and um, put this in the link below if you guys are interested in getting this package where you can teach children sight words. I hope you have gotten some great ideas. Um, if you want to get the bundle, you also can. I have the bundle for the pre-primer and the primer and the primer sight words. And that is all that is needed to be learned for kindergarten. So, um, these are the pre-primer. Again, this is going to be eight weeks. If you want to do the primer, that's going to be another 10 weeks. Um, so I'm going to link below in the description box where you can get the pre-primer list and the primer list. You can get them as a bundle. You can get them separately. Try it out with your children. See how it works. It's, it's worked really wonderful with my children. Um, and it's a wonderful system on how to introduce sight words. It, it is a, a multi-sensory process which uses um, singing and reading and playing and coloring um, and finding and writing. It, it just uses a whole um, set of, of skills that the child is able to use to memorize the sight words. I hope you guys have found this video interesting and helpful. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, please do and click on the notification bell to receive upcoming videos. Um, if you guys want to get this uh, in the Teachers Pay Teacher Store, I'll link it below in the description box so that you guys can um, get it. I'm going to have it 10% off um, starting today going on to next weekend. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. I will say bye-bye. 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 Thank you so much for watching. Until the next time. Hello everyone, today I'm going to share with you some Valentine's Day activities for your young ones. Here I've set up some activities for ages 2 to 6 years old here in my homeschool. And so whether you are a teacher...